In the 1990s, the inhabitants of the southern United States, in particular Texas and Arizona, found themselves under a threat from a rather unexpected quarter. The honeybee, which had for so long been a friend to humankind, turned nasty. Soon, a series of painful deaths were being chalked up to the Africanized bees. Also known as Africanized honeybees, these particular insects are descendants of southern African bees imported in 1956 to Brazil by scientists attempting to breed a commercial honeybee better adapted to conditions in the southern American tropics. But some of them escaped in 1957 and began breeding with local Brazilian honeybees. The hybrid quickly multiplied and began colonizing South and Central America at a rate of over 200 miles per year. Africanized honeybees are indistinguishable from regular honeybees and their venom is no more deadly. But domestic honeybees have lived with humans for hundreds of years and have been bred for their gentle nature as well as for good honey production. The new hybrid is not nearly so good natured. They attack in far greater numbers and victims will get stung hundreds of times in a matter of moments, resulting in serious injury or death. While with regular honeybees it is usually necessary to disturb the hive itself to initiate an attack, the Africanized bees perceive any human or animal straying into their territory as a threat. Even random noises or vibrations from vehicles can set them off. Once disturbed, they remain agitated for up to 24 hours, attacking anyone who comes within a quarter mile. So the purpose of this video is a demonstration uh, and to also uh, pictures worth a thousand uh, words and um, to demonstrate what I've been working on for a number of years, five or more years I guess in total, to create a bee that is valuable to any of the, anybody in the bee industry but particularly to uh, anyone who uh, wants to have a beehive of their own in their backyard or near their place. One of the most critical things is that they not be, we've, we've, we've already had all the problems we need with the Africanized bee. And it's our responsibility to turn this around, at least I've taken it upon myself. So this is um, an, a, a demonstration as to how different these bees that I've been working on this long are highly productive and very gentle. Um, and if you work bees, the first thing they tell you, get your smoker lit, I have it here just in case, uh, put your veil on, put your gloves on, put your bee suit on, and get all the protection necessary, because even the, you know, the, the average bee uh, are uh, evolved to defend their hive, and so you're going to get stung. And um, it's no longer necessary, and I wanted to demonstrate that. So. Um, this is an extreme case. I wouldn't recommend you do this and your, uh, anyone else do this, but I've worked with this for so long. This hive hasn't been touched. It's not been drenched in sugar. There's no tricks here, okay? There's no tricks. Um, so, first off, you got to have all your gear on. I don't. Here's a, a, a one of the interesting signs about them is you can reach down here in front of the hive. You can stick your hand and or fingers inside the entrance where they're going in and out. This is not your normal situation. Most bees by this time would have activated the alarm and come out trying to sting you. I'm standing in the way so I stand back and here come the, the field bees uh, working the hives. Alright, I'll work it from this side. Uh, so, alright, so now what else do you need to know? What's inside the hive? Um, you gotta know that this is actually a hive full of bees and, uh, and that you have not
bumblebees. Now, any movement usually causes them to attack. These bees are not attacking my hand, not touching me, not doing anything. They're not flying in my nose and my eyes. They're not doing a darn thing to, uh, to defend themselves. They don't need to. This is the kind of bee you want in your backyard if you're having a pool party. Now, let me just dig a frame out. You can also see that it's productive because this frame Look at that look at that pollen. You see that? Oh yeah, a lot of pollen. Now that's 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 good. Bees need that. Nice pollen. And and all new nectar on this side. And still and yet a very calm bee. I can touch them. They don't care. That pollen, that's beautiful. I mean that's art. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. Love it. Okay. So by the time we're finished, uh, at the very end of this, we'll go next. We'll probably go to a um, a breeder yard where you can see how I uh, bring about these these colonies and the process involved. Well, these are gentle. <laughs> Incredible. Are you kidding? Oh. Okay, so now we have pollen and brood. Uh, I'd like to get a very impressive frame of bees, but uh, this is our breeder, our primary breeder at this time, and I don't want to take the risk of uh, losing my queen for the sake of this demonstration. So what I'll do is I'll just demonstrate uh, something that uh, I wouldn't advise anybody to do. Watch. You ready? So these, these bees, you can't do this with your normal bee. Look at this. You got, you got some honey in your hair. It's okay. They're going to be after you. Get a close up. Get a close up. All right. Shake them off. One's in my ear. But so far, no stings. You even smashed a couple. I smashed them right there. You see well, you smashed smash a bees? couple on your head. Smash bees on the top of my head. Releases a pheromone that comes some... from the stings. And I still didn't get stung. I'd be howling if I did. You, you know need that. to get some water. <laughs> Get that honey off. All right, that's it. Can you get any gentler than that? That's fantastic. No smoke, no veil. Look, I still caught them. One in my ear. One on my chin. You got them in your shirt. I got them in my shirt, and I'm not getting stung, or I'd be howling. All right, that's my point. Now let's go and look at some normal bees. Okay, well. I'm still going to have my bee suit on, so... <laughs> okay. Switch the bees and all. <laughs> that is... Okay, I got my gloves back on. Yeah, well, leave that part on. <laughs> I did finally get some too, but they weren't as bad as a... As, as a colony, I worked yesterday in a, a hobbyist backyard. Big, strong, powerful colony, made a lot of honey and everything else, but we could not have done that to that colony. Uh, it, they chased us clear up the hill in the back patio. We had to go inside the house. So uh, all the more reason why I say that if you are a backyard beekeeper and you want to have a couple of hives and you don't want the liability of having your, your, friend, your friends, their, your, your pets or your children being stung, yeah, well, the camera is black too. That might have this, been a this. This tag is factor. indicator that they are uh, have Me? been proven oh. to be a little testy and ornery. Now they're in the middle of a honey flow, so that's not too bad. I didn't uh, uh, smoke them, and uh, I'm not finding the same issue I had before. Well, they they don't like my camera though, because they're kind of coming after it. Oh, honey. They have calm. Well, they're, they're, this is nothing. I, if I got stung two or three, this would be so normal. But see, they're not even that jumpy. They're a little bit testier, though, you can I tell. Expected, I expected the worst behavior. But um, if we were to go to the <laughs> one I worked yesterday, I'd sure see a big difference. So, uh, what can happen to you is they swarm, 
they read Queen with our, our, our drone bank here. And uh, I can't, you know, I don't have mean colonies. I just have worked it out over the last several years. And uh, that's what turned the page for me. I, I couldn't take that anymore. It just makes beekeeping, something I love, a miserable experience. And that's not how I would prefer anyone else have it or for myself. Uh, just, uh, and now we've got this worked out where you almost work them certainly barehanded. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that one we looked at. Are we good? You think? Or? I don't know where else. You could, you could uh, kick that hive a couple more times, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> I can kick and hit these others as much as I want, but uh, these guys here, there was another swarm in here somewhere, but I'm not, probably that one down there. This one here is a sweetheart, just a sweetheart. I did that demonstration to a bunch of guys on this one quite a long time ago. Oh, oh look. <laughs> that's a wild one. Yeah, that's a swarm, and I've already got uh, a bee sting right here. Just Ouch. looking into them. Isn't that pretty, though? God, yeah. That's beautiful. But we've got to work that into a regular hive here eventually. Well, even the worst of them aren't that bad. Isn't that great? I love it. Well, let's... Uh, These guys here are a little bit pissed. They're, yeah, I think we better they're jumpy. get out of here. And we had, I had them hitting my veil. And Look at here, see? That's the point. See that? That's another sting. Ouch. You know, boom, here comes another sting. That's that's it. Once you get okay. that, here's another sting. See? Let's so here I am. High tail end. Yeah, no, and they're all over me. Ah! Here they are, stinging, stinging. See that? See that? See that? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm done. We're done. Bye-bye. Ah, yeah. ah, like, ah, man, they're stinging the crap out of me now.